Father's Day, Josh always has a really hard time. But who can blame him? Our father's been in and out of jail our whole lives, charged with abusing our mother, verbally abusing us, and substance abuse. He always says he'll change, but he never does. Honestly, I don't really want a relationship with him, but Mom makes us write to him when he writes to us. This will be the first time she wants us to go visiting in prison, especially since Josh was, just got married last year and is about to have a kid. I don't know. I, I just don't think Josh is ready for this. Hello, Father. Hey, Dad. Happy early Father's Day. Uh, I'm, this is stupid. I'm not going to go. Josh, what's wrong? Steph, I'm not going. Oh, come on. Mom's going to be here in 10 minutes. You don't have to talk. Just let him do all the talking. Mom says that Dad's really excited to see us. He's not my dad. He's not my anything. I'm not even sure what I should call it. He's been in prison for, what, the past nine years now? For God knows what. Mom doesn't want to tell us. And now he wants to be a part of our lives. That's not fair. Not after everything he's done. He's been there for you. Okay, forgive me. Sure, he comes back when he's out of prison, but every time, every single time after he's all sobered up, he starts drinking again. And what does he do? That's a thing, Mom. Exactly. And I'm not sure what kind of person you call that, but he is for surely not my father. Why can't you just have hope? Hope? Hope for what? It's hopeless to have hope for something that you know will never change. Don't say that. Why not? It's true. Josh, you just need to give God a chance. It's not that I doubt that God can do miracles. It's just that if you don't want to change, then you won't. I'm not going, Seth, and that's final. Do you think I want to go? Josh has literally taken my blood, sweat, and tears to forgive that man. No, I don't want to go. But it gives me strength to stand up to him and face him for all the wrong he's done. You just can't, Steph, okay? Everything was perfectly fine when that man wasn't around, and now Mom wants us to face us? No, that's not right. Come on, you know just as well as anyone how hard it was growing up without a father. I know it was hard. Why can't you just make peace with him? You know that's something God would honor. I'll forgive him, but I won't forget. It just sucks, okay? No one ever taught me how to tie my shoe. No one ever taught me how to tie a stupid bow tie. You know, and every time in t all the boys and fathers were screaming, That's my boy! That's my son! But who's got for me? Nobody did! I mean, sure, mother was the closest thing I had to a father, but that wasn't enough. I'm sorry, Josh. I didn't mean to bring this up. She was hardly ever there, so I was always taking care of you, Josh. As a result, I was alone. And I remember I would cry out to God at night when I was younger, and I would get so mad. I was like, God, why don't I have a father? God, how come all these people who have fathers take their fathers for granted? And where's my daddy? Why doesn't my daddy love me? What's wrong with me? Why am I so messed up? I never that. You know, Steph, we should have went down a dark, dark path, but we didn't because we're stronger than that. And it was because of God. We were once fatherless, but now we have the greatest father that we could ever ask for. No, I'm, I'm about to have a baby. So whether that child's going to be a boy or a girl, you can bet that I'm going to be the best father that I had never had, and that I would love that baby so much because of anything that man has taught me, it's exactly what a father doesn't look like. I'm so sorry for putting this on the It's okay. I understand now. I don't think he'll change. I just know what it's like when I've never a father. But you had it harder than I did. I have faith out for you. Someone who truly got it. Yeah, I'll be right there. No, it's just me, but I'll explain everything I did. That was mom. It's okay, Josh. You don't have to go. I'll explain everything in the car. I see where you're coming from, and honestly, I think you're going to be an amazing father. So, what was the hard? Of course. Seeing my biological father was the last thing I needed in order to fully move on with my life. Sure, he may still be in prison for most of the rest of his life, but I made sure to let him know everything that he missed out on. And I knew I needed to be there because what if mom and I were the only versions of Jesus that he ever got to see? 
No, I never knew what it was like growing up with your father. And yes, it did hurt, but God was my father. And he taught me lessons through his words, through miracles, through Josh, and through all the young leaders that I encountered throughout my life. Uh, truth is, I can relate to this kid. Um, I never had a father growing up, but um, it's through my testimony that I want all the fathers here to know that it's never too late. You know, it's never too late to love your kids because statistics do show that it's two times more likely for a child to live in a fatherless home to go to prison, um, to be involved in drugs, to drop out of high school, and 67% of new suicides come from fatherless homes. You know, so just this Father's Day, just fathers love your children and children love your fathers, but also realize that you have the greatest father that you can ever ask for. Thank you.